Hello, good morning once again, my dear Matayum 5 students. How are you today? I hope that you're doing good. Now, today we're going to learn about uh, the measure of position. Okay, so this is the next measure after the measure of central tendency. Now, what is a measure of position? Now, this, uh, this is normally used for quantitative data. And it's give us a way to see where a certain value falls in a data set. Okay, because uh, the data set will be divided accordingly. Now, we have here the different types of the measure position, like the first one is quartile, the second one is decile, and the third one is percentile. Now, for quartile, we divide the data set into four equal parts. The decile, we divide that into 10 equal parts. And percentile, we divide the data into 100 equal parts. Huh? So, again, for the measuring of the of position, we classify that into two. So, we calculate also for the end group data and for the group data. Huh? So, the same thing uh, as what we did for the measure of central tendency, that we find the quarter of what we find the mean, the media, and the mode by means of the end group and the group data. Now, for this one also, we're going to find uh, these three types with this different uh, data. Now, first, we're going to go with the end group data. Now, this one, so you will see here that uh, the first we have is the quartile, okay? Or sometimes in other uh, books, they're using R, okay? So this is um, the, the position, okay, or the value of the quartiles. Now, remember that for quartiles, we divide it into four. So which quartile that you are pertaining to? Like uh, the one, two, three, four. Okay. Or one, two, three, rather. Now for uh, for the decile, we have uh, to 10. Okay. We divide it into 10. So we have uh, D1 up to D9. And the for per percentile from percentile 1 to percentile 99. Okay. Now this uh, uh, formula here that we have, these are only the position the position of every uh, measure of position. That's why we have measure of position. Okay, so for quartile, these are only the position and we're going to figure out uh, from these answers. And for the group data, we have the formula. Okay, so you can, we can use this formula to figure out the different uh, types of the measure of position. So we start. We have here the quartiles. So for quartile, we say QR. Now, or QK. So, as I've said uh, earlier, that the, in some other books are using R. So, for this one, uh, we're going to use R. Again, what is quartiles? The quartiles are three values of the variable that divide in order data set and distribution into four equal parts. Okay, so we have there the 25%, 50%, and the 25, uh, 75%. Or Q3, uh, Q1, Q2, and Q3. Okay, so this is the position again that we have. So we have QR is equal to R over 4, N plus 1. So N here is the number of data. Okay. Now next we have percentile. So for percentile, we say PR. So percentiles are the 99 score points, which divide the distribution into 100 parts. Na? So we divide that into 100 parts. So we have P1, P2, P3 up to P99. So we have here the value, uh, the formula again, PR is equals to R divided by 100, so N plus 1, okay? And the third one, we have decile or DR. So this one is we divided into 10 equal parts. So the same as uh, what we have uh, in uh, quartile and this uh, percentile, we have here the same formula, but only uh, that our R is from 1 to 9, nah? And we, this is divided by 10 because we divide uh, the data into 10 equal parts. And uh, we have your N, the number of data. Okay? So those are the formula that we're going to follow in figuring the uh, position of those measure of position for the N group data. Na? This is for the N group data. Now we have our example. We have here find uh, Q2, D3, and P75 of the following data. So we have there the quartile 2, decile 3, and the percentile 75. Na? Now we have here the data. We have 42, 45, 52, 48, 60, 65, 70, 55, and 72. Now, 
the first thing that you're going to do is to arrange arrange this data from uh, in order like from lowest to highest or highest to lowest so you have here the arrange data you have 42 45 48 55 50 60 65 70 and 72 now we start with quartile 2 so we for quartile 2 we have here the formula Q R equal R over 4 and time uh, n plus 1 then what is n there are how many uh, data here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now the value of n will be 9 okay that is the value of n now uh, we substitute uh, the given value we have r what is r again we're looking for quartile 2 so we have the position of quartile 2 will be 2 over 4 then n is 9 plus 1 okay so 2 over 4 is 1 half or that would be 0 0.5 we multiply that by 10 9 plus 1 is 10 therefore 0.5 of 10 is 5 so the uh, quartile 2 position or this is the the median okay this is the median is at the position 5 nah? so we have here we count 1 2 3 4 5 okay so this is our quartile 2 or the median for this data remember again that quartile 2 is the median of the data you will see on the left side we have four data here and on the right side we have also four data so it uh, it's really uh, says that uh, that is the median therefore quartile 2 is 55 okay my okay now we go to the next one uh, that is quartile uh, decile 3 sorry decile 3 so we have here already the arranged uh, data okay and we're going to figure out d3 and we have here the formula for uh, decile now we have decile r r over 10 n plus 1 and again is how much that is 9 so r is uh, 3 then we substitute the value and find first the position of the decile 3 na? so you have there 3 over 10 and that would be 9 plus 1 and 9 plus uh, is equal to 3 because 9 plus 1 is 10 we can cut with 10 so therefore what would be left is 3 na? so therefore our position is on the third 1, 2, 3 this is our, our decile 3 that is 48 Okay, my 48. Okay, now we go to the last one. We have P75 or percentile 75. We have here again the arranged numbers. Okay, and um, we have the formula of the percentile. So the same, but we divided only this with 100. Na? N is 9. So we substitute the, uh, the value. We have P75, 75 over 100, then 9 plus 1. And uh, we have there 75 over 100 is how much? That is 0.75. Then n plus 1 is 10. Then we multiply that or that would be 7.5. The position will be on the 7.5. So we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we have here 8. So in between these two data, 65 and 70, therefore our P75 is 65 plus 70 divided by 2 or that would be 67.5 did you understand my so again for every measure of position just substitute the value with the what correspond to the measure okay or what position that you're looking for if you're looking like for p50 or p60 then you're going to use 50 you're going to use 60 as the value of r na? and you count how many data that we have and you can find the percentile is 50 or percentile 60. Now, or if you are looking for decile, decile 6, decile 8, decile 9, then you will use 9 or 8 as the value of R. Okay? Just substitute here uh, to our formula and N, count how many data that we have, and you will find the position. This is only the position of those measure of position. And you will look back into the data arrange data here and you will uh, find uh, the value of that 
uh, position or measure of position. Okay, my. That's all for. Uh, if you don't have any question, we have here our exercise. Okay, find a different measure of position. We have here find Q1, Q3, D2, D5, D8, P30, P47, P69, P95 of the following data. So we have here the data to arrange this data in order from lowest to highest and you start calculating Q1, Q3, D2, D5, etc. Now, using our example, using the formula that we have for the position. And you will look back here in the range data and you will find the value of each measure of position. Again, this is all about and group data. Now, this is all about and group data. Okay, my. Do you have any question? Okay, so if you don't have any question, that's all for today, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye! Summer late, ay da sayaw nga gisisikati Ang nagsasayaw hinibida na permi Labi na kong nakisikisi Ang hermana